Throughout the decades, we've seen and heard a whole lot about the lives of presidents, but what about vice presidents? They're one position removed from the presidency, and they certainly have some role to play in their administrations. Well, it's time to give them some attention, and that's where author of the number one New York Times bestseller, The Residence, comes in with her new book, First in Line. Welcome to the show, author Kate Anderson Brower. Kate, thanks for being here again. Thank you for having me again. Of course. So first I have to ask you, what drove you to focus in on vice presidents? Well, like my other two books, this book looks at history from a different perspective. I start with Nixon and Eisenhower and their difficult relationship and go up through the present day. Um, when I was a White House reporter for Bloomberg, I was always really interested in the relationship between Joe Biden and Barack Obama. I traveled with Biden all over, including a trip to Mongolia and Japan that was really fun. So it just, I, it, it made me wonder what's this relationship really like and is it this bromance that we all think it is? And so I interviewed Biden along with 200 others and every living former vice president. And um, I found out that it, it, most of these relationships relationships are really complicated, can be really difficult, even Obama and Biden's at the beginning. Right, and of course they had the very public bromance like you're saying. If we were behind closed doors with uh, Obama and Biden, what would it actually be like? Well, at the very beginning, it was really tough. You know, Biden didn't really even want to take the job at first. And I have a story in the book about how his mother, who was in her 90s at the time, helped convince him to take the job because he said, look, I, I would be a better president. Um, there was some jealousy there. And his mom said, you've got to take this position working for the first African-American president. When you're someone who fought for civil rights, you cannot turn this down. And so it's incredible to think that his mom played a role in that. And there's also a scene in the book where his mom takes Obama's hand the night um, that Obama and Biden won. And they are in Chicago and Grand Grant Park, this huge rally, and they're on stage, and, and Gene um, Finnegan, Biden, takes Obama's hand and says, it's going to be okay, honey, come on. And it's just a really sweet moment where she's welcoming Obama into this huge Biden Irish Catholic family, and, um, you know, Obama didn't have a big family. And there are other stories in the book about how Michelle Obama leaned on Biden at certain points to try to get him to help her husband. Um, so it really was this bromance, but it took longer to develop than I think most people realize. Right, and it's through those uh, little vignettes that you, you're right, you're telling history uh, in, in really a whole different perspective. And so you say you go back a few decades. How would you say that the dynamic between the two men has changed over time and evolved? Well, look, I think the vice presidency is incredibly important. You know, of the 48 vice presidents we've had, 14 have become president, four in the last 55 years. Um, it's a really important position because of the 25th Amendment, which has to do with succession. And um, I think the understanding since Kennedy's assassination especially has changed the vice presidency and made people realize how crucial it is, how important that position is. Um, even before then, I mean, I have stories in the book about when FDR died unexpectedly and here was Harry Truman not knowing anything about the atomic bomb and then having to face the decision of being the first president to, the la first and hopefully last president to actually use it. Um, and what was that like for him? I mean, it's kind of incredible. He was kept at arm's length um, by FDR, and I think a lot of vice presidents are, and that's really dangerous. Vice presidents, you know, Dick Cheney told me vice presidents need to be read in on national security issues because you just never know what's going to happen. Um, Mike Pence quit drinking, actually, because he wanted to have his wits about him at all times uh, once he became a member of Congress, and now even more than ever, he's read a lot about succession. He is really ambitious. People do not realize um, how how much he is plotting and planning for his own presidency someday. So I find that fascinating. It certainly is, and they're the duo uh, currently holding office, and there is a whole lot to say about them probably, some of which is in your book, and uh, we'll continue to learn more, uh, of course, as history unfolds itself. So Kate, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. All right. Stay right where you are. We'll be right back.